what is design of experiments? Mike, let me uh, give you my elevator speech for DOE or design of experiments. Um, DOE is the best data collection strategy that's out there today when our goal is to investigate relationships between inputs and outputs of a process. Now let me explain inputs and outputs of a process. A process that most of us are very familiar with, Mike, is driving an automobile or owning an automobile. And one of the performance measures or responses that we might be interested is gas mileage, miles per gallon. That's how we typically measure gas mileage. Now there's other measures of performance or responses like how, how long does it take to go from zero to 60 miles per hour. Uh, but let me just talk about miles per gallon a second. Uh, that would be considered an output of the process. Uh, of this automobile process, if we want to call it. It's a performance measure. Sometimes we call it a response variable. It's also an output. Now, we can surmise what various inputs might be to that, that affect that output. Well, one might be, and our experience level with an automobile is going to tell us that. And uh, one might be tire pressure. You know, maybe we want to, tire pressure would be the factor. Now, if we tested it at two different levels, uh, like uh, 25 PSI versus 35 PSI, tire pressure would be the factor and the two levels at which we tested would be say 25 and 35 PSI. Another factor that we could surmise might affect gas mileage is the type of uh, fuel that we're using. Is it 85 octane, 91 octane? So fuel type might be another factor. The two settings or the two levels that we might want to test uh, fuel type at or maybe I know in Colorado we have 85 octane you may not have that in Washington but we may go to a low setting like 85 octane and a high setting to 91 so that gives the uh, the uh, uh, the followers here a little bit of an idea of what a factor is and what a uh, uh, or an input sometimes we call these factors inputs and outputs but by and large DOE is the best way to collect data when you want to find relationships between inputs and outputs, Mike. Okay, that makes sense. And if I was an automobile manufacturer and I realized how important that miles per gallon rating was of the cars I was manufacturing with gases, you know, uh, gas prices nearing $5 uh, a gallon here in Washington state, um, I know that that's likely one of the top um, factors influencing whether somebody buys their car or buys some other car. So I need to optimize my miles per gallon on that car. And, and I want to produce the best miles per gallon possible. So what are the factors that go in there? Clearly, I need to have something that's, uh, uh, that's um, uh, energy efficient. Um, but there's a million different, fa or there's a lot of different factors that go in besides just the engine. It's the tire pressure and it's, you know, exactly what you said earlier. Um, and so that's what DOE allows you to do. Optimize an output variable based on a bunch of different input factors. Exactly. 